Hey, welcome to another edition of Cherry Bomb Granny. There's me and my little buddy, Miss Angry. We took a trip down to the Gulf, and man, it was so nice. Really enjoyed it. Um, just beautiful. Got to go take the grandbaby to ride go-karts one day and had a great time. But as we got back home, things changed, and as you'll see in the rest of the video, um, kind of took a serious note. So this is just a little update to let you know what's going on and to let you know everything ain't always happiness and perfect and sunshine and light and all of us have struggles and things we go through and I'm just you know reaching out to let you guys know where I'm at and to let you know that I'm thinking about you always hey good morning I'm sitting here in the emergency room at UAB and this is kind of a hard update for my channel but you know, I don't mind sharing the bad along with the good and hopefully this will turn out for the better but it's been a personal struggle past few years really I've got a stepdaughter that's 45 years old and her father's deceased that was my first husband and her mom died when she was like 12 years old so I'm basically it for her her family and she has struggled with some addiction problems and I have her 11 year old little girl and I've had her since she was five and so she contacted me just past month and said that she was tired and sick and ready to come off of the road she was just struggling so hard and so this past weekend I went to get her and we've been working with a recovery group to try to get her a bed and try to get her back in a recovery facility so she can get some help and um, it's just a lot of work to try to get somebody help but there is help out there so we're we're working with a group called Ross and a real nice guy that's um, real supportive and has offered some alternatives some things that we can check into so we took her yesterday for a state assessment they're gonna try to find her a bed and uh, got her first COVID vaccination but she is really having a hard time breathing so I don't know if the meth that she was using has damaged her lungs or I don't know what's going on but they won't let me go into the emergency room with her so I'm just sitting out here in the old van waiting um, hoping that somebody will text me or call me or something soon and tell me what they found but I'm just scared to keep her at home because all night long she's just you can hear her just struggling to catch her breath and it's, it's stressful it really is but you guys if if you see this and you think about us just say a little prayer for us and say a little prayer for her and prayer for her little girl and her son and that you know everything turns out okay for her and that she can get the help she needs and get herself straightened out and for anybody else that's out there struggling with the Addiction problem, man, I hope you can get some help, too, and get your life straightened out, because this is no way to live, and, I, I mean, she, I'm 60, almost 61, she's 45, and right now, she's in worse shape than I am, and it just breaks my heart for her, so, that's about all I got to say on that, and on the, um, as far as the getting out and going in the van, that's kind of been put on hold until we can get her squared away. And I've been doing some finishing up of some projects at the house. I have bought a ISOP, if any of you know what that is. That's an inflatable paddle board. And I'm looking forward to getting to use that, but it's kind of turning cool down here right now. So I don't know if I'll get a chance to before the weather actually gets cold, cold. But my intentions on that, I'm not going to try to do the stand-up paddling. Well, maybe maybe I'll be coordinating to do that, but I'm just hoping I can sit on it and do some fishing or just do some floating. And 
I have started a meetup group for women that want to paddle and float. And so hopefully I'll make some friends around here and we'll be able to do some things. If not this winter, maybe come spring, get out and make some trips and do a little camping and a little socializing and have some fun, I hope. Um, good Lord willing and my health holds out. So we'll see how that goes. And I've been doing some artsy stuff and making some projects and cleaning up some stuff and cleaning out some stuff and getting rid of old clothes and old shoes and just spring cleaning in the fall I guess trying to trying to get some stuff that's piled up on me out and um so it's always an ongoing struggle trying to get everything done and keep up with all the work around the house and now we got this going on with her, so that's kind of, I don't know, it's just another something to deal with, I guess, but anyway, I just wanted to say hey to everybody and let you know what was going on and hope all of y'all are okay and I'll be back and chat with you soon.